got no money, I still have sauce. Mm -hmm. If you don't got no sauce, then you, 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 you get lost. Mm -hmm. But you also get lost in the sauce. You can get, how you get lost in the sauce? Man, a bitch, man, a bitch gonna get lost in the sauce, man. Mm -hmm. Yeah, 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 what's up? It's your girl Miranda Wright, and we are here. We're doing radio the right way. Let me first give my shout out to Pop Radio Worldwide, shout out to iHeartRadio, shout out to Spotify Premium. Man, it's been a hell of a week. It's been a hell of a week, I must say. First off and first foremost, I have my co host today. I have, I have a special go guest. Who is in the building today? Hey, it's your man Shondell. What's popping? Yo! Check us out. You dig? Hey, I appreciate hey, we got the man. Hey, hey, hey. We got the man that actually put on for the city in the building. Hey, that's the name of my new documentary. That's what's up. That's coming on. I put on for my city. That's what's up. You know, I want to um, just take a quick moment of silence, real mm -hmm. quick. I want to say R.I.P. to Juice World. Oh, definitely. Let's let's do that real quick. Okay, I want to speak on, um, you know, his, the reason why he died. They say he, you know, took a lot of pills and basically had a seizure and died. Mm -hmm. I want to speak on directly, as far as a lot of artists that's out here doing the perks, doing the X, doing the, you know, doing whatever they feel they need to do to have a good time, like. Um, how do you feel about that? Like, do you think, cause, because me, I'm half life. You right, know what same I mean? Here. I, don't get it twisted. I like my champagne and my wine. Right. You know what I'm saying? I give a little sip on, you know. I, 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 I'm not really a smoker, but you know, mm. shout out to the weed head. You know what I'm saying? Ain't nothing wrong with that. You know? I don't drink, I don't smoke. <laughs> I hate cigarettes. I hate <laughs> I just <laughs> weed more so than cigarettes, uh, liquor. I don't, nothing. Not even a wine cooler. Everybody that knows me, shout out Lacey West. Everybody that knows me knows, like, you know, I'm, I'm, even when I'm in a club, they're like, man, get him some water. You know what I'm saying? Because that, that's just how I roll. I've never been into that. So I, I don't encourage it either. Like, of course, people are grown and gonna do whatever they want to do and make those life decisions. And you never know what made a person turn, you know, turn to drugs or whatever. So. And it, you know, uh, there'd be a lot of stuff going on personally. You never know what a person's going through, the demons they're going through, or why they decided to dive into that, you know. But me personally, I've never um, let anybody influence me. I've always been a leader. I've never been a follower. You know what? You just spoke on as far as the demons and things that people go through. Mm -hmm. um, I want to elaborate on that because a lot of people go through a lot of, including me, mm -hmm. go through a lot of things and they have an escape code. Mm -hmm. And I guess, you know, that's when the drugs take place, the alcohol take place. Mm -hmm. You know, I'm going to just say a prayer for you because um, I, I know a lot of people can't handle things. A lot of people are suicidal. Like, I know so many people that suicidal, y'all wouldn't even wouldn't believe. Mm. You know how many people are suicidal mm. because of they can't handle the thing Pressure. that comes with life. You know me, what I do normally. Okay, if it, it becomes too overwhelming for me, I just go in my little hole. I call it my hole, basically mm -hmm. my room, and, and, and shut down for a second. Mm -hmm. Then I figure it out, and I pop back out, and I, I try to work the strategy. I never really turn to the drugs or things of that nature, but you know I I, I do you know. I'm going to say, uh, again, a prayer for those that can't really handle the pressure. And, right. and because there's a lot of artists out here. It's a lot of people that's in the industry completely that, that don't know how to handle things. You know, a lot of people think they want to be famous. And it's a lot that come with it. And I always say, yeah. you really have to be built for the whole celebrity thing, the whole clout thing. Once it really get on to you for real, the right way, mm -hmm. you got to be built for it. Because, because if you can't take the pressure, I'm going to tell you out the kitchen. So, you know, I, I ain't nothing much I can say about that. I mean, you ain't saying nothing wrong. Biggest name, whatever. Love but, it. You know what, though? Because this, the drugs and the alcohol and things has been, it, it, it goes back way be, beyond time, before we can even think of. Mm -hmm. So, is, do, do, is that just like the life of the party or something? Like what? To each his own, I, you know, whatever that person is into. Right. You know what I mean? I've never been into that. You know, I see somebody flaming up, I walk away. Oh, well, let me get up out of here. You know, so 
I just never been into it, never indulged, never nothing. You know, that just never been my thing. I'm not an anti-drug person. Um, mm -hmm. That whatever rock your boat, you know, let it rock on. Mm -hmm. But you know, if you are going through some type of depression or things of that nature, find another outlet, some way, somehow. I don't care if it's building block blocks. Literally, mm -hmm. like if, if that'll help you get through it. I, I'm gonna just say that because you don't know what is bad enough that the food killing us. You know that what these drugs is really doing to us. Um, again, R.I.P. to Juice Girl. That's a young brother, um, mm. very, very, Terrible, very young, man. very young, and he is from the city, Chicago. Um, so that definitely touched a lot of hearts here, mm -hmm. and to to the rest of the world that's actually you know battling demons and you know turning outlook for drugs or alcohol to you know get through that. Mm. I'm gonna tell y'all to stay strong. Again, find another outlet. I don't know what it have to be, but just to you know. Keep things on a positive note so it won't harm you any more than that um, has been done already. No, so, Shundell, yeah. you putting on for the city, huh? Man, why not? You know what I mean? I'm going to salute you because a lot of people say they put on for the city, but don't really put on for the city. I can say um, offhand that, yeah, you really put on for the city. You have, oh, thank you. You have built a platform for a lot of artists. Um, they never thought they never thought that, that they could even see radio mm -hmm. ever even hear their stuff on the FM station mm -hmm. and you have even including myself you know um, have done that for a lot of artists including pop <laughs> pop yeah. yeah pop it's a lot of artists name some of the artists my, Just, that's first, my I, first one of my first poetry hold on says he said well, one of my first one of my first poetry joints uh when, yeah. we, when it hit iTunes, Shondell was the first one to break it. It was me and AK. We did a joint called Ambition. I wasn't even rapping yet. It was just a little spoken word with AK and uh, Shondell. Yeah, it was the first one to put me on FM radio, yeah. bro. Met him. I think it was at a club. Bumped it to him or something. I was at an lit. event. I was lit. King Louis joined. And, yeah, King Louis. Yeah. Shout out King Louis. And uh, he's like, man, I'm trying to do what? I was like, no problem. I got yeah, you. Yeah, yeah. And they just won. made it happen. And... What inspired me to do what I do? Oh, you said mention the artists I broke. Like first person to ever play these artists before I ever heard on radio. So definitely just to run down a few like Chief Keef, Lil Durk, mm -hmm. uh, of course King Louie, L.E.P., Sicko Mob, Bo Deal, uh, Stunt Taylor, um, Katie Got Bands, uh, Spenzo, Famous Dex. Jeremiah, John Blue, that Ben One, up. Slick, Lupe Fiasco. Oh, no, no, no. Um, man, there's so many. Dude, them they had to watch my feet record. Um, huh. God, there's so many artists. We be talking today, bro. right? Because I've been doing it over mm -hmm. 15 years. 15 years. Y'all hear that? Yeah, they that don't call him the mayor of he, Chicago for he nothing. He is the you mayor. He um, is the mayor of Chicago, and, and I'm gonna I'm salute you again. I uh, had thoughts on it because. Know because you you definitely doing what what I feel because you know y'all know I'm I'm gonna keep it one hundred. You to me is a real definition of putting on for the city. You can hold that title. A lot of people say they do it, but they really don't do it. You know, so I'm a, I'm gonna definitely give that to you. I, you, you understand? You. If it was the war right here, I give it to you right yeah, now. Matter of fact, I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to give it. Give it. <laughs> Uh, so many artists, even the do or die, crucial conflict, psycho drama, triple darkness, snipers, three piece, public announcement, like any of those old school artists as well, from the twisters, the beehives that need that support, you know. And I just did it because I used to be an artist, had three record deals, traveled the world, and know what it's like to want to be an artist, be heard, turn haters to believers, and and do something positive. And, and so I figure a lot of people are in position, but what are they doing? So I just wanted to be a difference when I got in radio, and I don't work. For Power Rain, too, you know, the, I used to, I got a partnership with him, the Time Raw Radio was on, it's actually a broker paid program, which is a partnership, but we pay for out of our pockets, so it costs me to support the city, so and I, don't, I don't mind being that blessing, you know what I'm saying, because I, I, everybody has to start off somewhere, so when it be tripping me out when people be like, I see an artist say, like, for example, you got a pop, right, and somebody will tell them something like, yeah, yeah okay, get at me when you get your views up, or whatever, in my opinion, and it's just my opinion, 
um, that person that told you that had to start off somewhere. Somebody had to give that person an opportunity. So Absolutely. why not be the leap for them to springboard? Oh, I broke L hitter as well. I just thought about yes. that. L hitter yes. with the all year joint. Um, uh, but just it's so many artists. You know what I mean? And I love being a blessing and just telling people like, yo, you gonna hear your joint on Sunday or whatever, whatever. Just just be a blessing. Man. You know what? I want to hold you right there mm -hmm. and I, because I want to go a little bit deeper into that because I hear artists say things and um, be right back. Okay. You need. Yeah. 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 We're the right. The right way, kicking off, kicking the doors. Me and my boys, money talk, making a noise, losing your pores. Take respect, it's in my core. Come with that force. Oh, they misguided. You sent shots, but you missed. Bitch, try it. And we're back Bad. on the radio, the well, right way. We ain't gonna act like that ain't just happened, though. <laughs> Damn! <laughs> what was that? I had to come with them bars here. Jesus! You know what I'm saying? I'm a real artist. See, I, you know, salute to all the ABC artists, you mm -hmm. know, the one, two, threes. I'm, I, I'm a bar head, man. Uh, they sure said no here. Bars, <laughs> the fires. I, 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 I'm, a, <laughs> I'm a bar fanatic, Um, you know. I must say, of course, the commercial joints is for the radio. It, yeah. it, it's, it's what get us on and all of that. But you know what? Be behind that, you, you you tune in, you're going to see I'm a real artist. I'm I'm, I'm hip-hop, man. Man. <laughs> Gosh, I don't know who pissed off. Woo-wee. <laughs> I can see the little Kim though inspiration too. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Shout out yeah. big big I, I, I see that little I, I, Kim inspiration. I'm a big fan Ooh, of Kim. Wee. I'm a big fan of Kim Eve. It's a it's a it's a They show it's going a in feeling. bar, she killed it. Shout out real Tina Roby. Play her joy to get wow. Thank y'all. She needs to perform that live. <laughs> <There you go. laughs> Thank yeah. you so much. Um but yeah. And speaking wow. of that, you know, because I wanna I wanna I wanna bring this back over to you real quick. Uh-huh. Uh -huh. Because you talk about, you know, the artists that you have broke and um, things mm -hmm. that you've done, that you have been a blessing because you are in a position to be a blessing to others. Yes, ma'am. And that's why you receive your blessings. Yes, ma'am. But, you know, you have the people that sometimes side at you. God bless and, um, and that don't that don't stop you. You know what I mean? I mean, we people all have, have to, haters. Right. That's just life. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Right. Like you, you could be doing everything and still not doing enough. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You could be just... I mean, you got to think of it like this. A, I mean, pardon my friend. You could curse on me? You can curse. I don't owe anybody shit. Anybody. So it's like nobody owes me nothing. So whatever I'm doing, A, it's a blessing from God and from my heart. So I do what I do from the heart. And if somebody, if anybody that doesn't like me, I always tell them like, hey, I, I love you. Right. I don't know what to tell you that because I love you. Because I don't have any time for nothing negative, any hate, any... You know, it's like, for what? We all here 100 years if we're lucky, so let's make the best of it while we're here. And a lot you know of things, I mean? another thing I want to say, a lot of artists, a lot of people, not going to say artists, at, um, expect boom, handouts. Boom, boom. Um, they expect handouts, and like you're supposed to do it. And instead of receiving it as a blessing and a thank you, and all you have to do is show support back here and there. And that's all you ask for. Um, I, mean, I mean, you know, People don't get that part. People don't get, you know, when you have your events, when you have your um, your shows and things mm -hmm. like that, and you, you know, tag me, show, show some love, show some support. I feel like the rural, I'm not even going to say the rural, but Chicago, the rural of Chicago, <laughs> everybody, everybody should be showing this man some type of support. If you're in the industry, if you have some type of, any type of plug with Power 92, if he, any flyer he put up, any show he set up, if you can't purchase a ticket, at least share it so somebody else can purchase a ticket. You understand? There's nothing wrong with that. It, it's nothing is given free. Just like he said, he have to pay his money to put on the show and he bring artists in to give them the light. To get them over to the next level, so I'm I'm gonna say that it, that's that's with anything. It's nothing free. Even with me, like for example, it's nothing free. It's nothing free. So artists are asking me, how do I get onto your show? Mm -hmm. 
I let them know how they get onto their show. Mm -hmm. It's nothing free at the end of the day. You know, you we, if, if there's a platform that's set up for you, show some support, support some way, somehow. Yeah. That, that's all I'm going to ask, you know? God bless them. I and, mean, I, I, like I said, I do what I do from the heart. It don't, I don't expect none in return. I don't look for none in return. I just try to be, you know, the biggest blessing I can be. And I just how I look look up look at it and think of it. You know what I mean? That's why I like rocked with you. When I first met Pop, didn't know him from Adam, came, whispered in my ear, told me what he was trying to do. And he probably thought I was bullshitting. And I was like, Yeah, give me your number. Ooh, ooh gotcha. And look, he didn't have to call me, guess what we did? We called him. Oh really? On yeah. the air, pre recorded his interview, ran it back live, yeah. told him this so my point being just, you know, I just I just love being a blessing. That's it's not about nothing else but you know, Pop love you. You know, Pop love person. you. Pop love you. So you it's know? just about being that blessing. Um, and I support everybody. I don't care if you and I deal with everybody from the biggest artist from around the country to a guy that just got out the joint with a vision. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. I deal with mm -hmm. even on a corporate level, like cor corporate giants or independent. You know, mom and pop. So I try to treat everybody equal, everybody the same, and I just you know. I've always rotated. Yeah. So, put on for my city. Put on for my city, the new documentary film coming 2020. Um, just educating the people on who I am, where I'm from, what I've done, things that I've done, people that I have helped, those testimonies. So, I don't got to keep saying, oh, I did that. Just go watch the movie. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So, it's going to be in the movie. As far as the movie, mm -hmm. I'm going to need to get some sneak peeks. About this, like, like, how do you have it going? Like, like, is it like an actual movie? Is it gonna be somebody playing you? No, nah, is it gonna be it's, like it's a documentary? Um, it's just it's gonna be people who, like, it may be you and Pop, for example, just explaining in your perspective how do I put on for Chicago and well how have I been impacting y'all lives? Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? So it'll be different, different testimonies. It'll be. Things are going back to maybe, where I was from. Maybe take them a walk through the day of your operation. Of course, of you know the, what I'm you know? saying? So different things like uh, like that, you know, just, so, you know, going back to Pagrini Green. People don't know I'm from the Green. So, like, taking you through there, just where I'm from, you know, and just, of course, the film is dedicated to my mom and dad. My mm. mom, so, you know, so, mm. And, uh, but, yeah, I love doing what I do. I want to bring these back. Mm -hmm. What made you get this right back. now? What mm. made me get into radio, I never thought in a million years I'd be doing... If you asked me this like 20 years ago, like, yo, what you going to be? I was like, I'll be uh, a rapper or a pro athlete. <clears throat> so I watched how, you know, growing up, I was like, I'm going to do something. I'm going to make it. So I watched how, like, people would enter school. I'm like, damn, so he played ball for four years. I just got to try to do that. So in four <laughs> years, I could potentially be rich. So I think like this, to, you know, to put, of course, your family on to stay out of trouble. And um, what made me get in the radio when I had a record deal, uh, we was traveling the world doing shows. And, and every market, I was hearing how they were supporting their own. And it just hit me, bang, just like that sound. And it was like, mm -hmm. yo, you should do radio. And shout out to Trey and Aki, Trey the Chocolate Jock, and Aki, the beat man. Um, I started off doing comedy skits on the radio, like Bill Clinton, Louise Javison, The Rock, Hulk Hogan, oh. different comedy skits. You, you, you had no idea it was me, but it was me. Um, and then I won a contest on WGCI called Radio Idol. Shout out to mm. Lloyd Johnson. He had like five million people. I, I just, my homie's like, man, you should enter the contest. So I did it. And then one, and then got to go on Bad Boy Radio with Mike Love and the Diz. Wow, that's hey, cool. yeah. And then I was hey, like, I remember us. So no, it was crazy because like, <laughs> it was crazy like um, it was one of the highlights in my life to be the liner they call like the 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 lighter of radio. So it's like how they saying one zero seven five WGC I don't want for hip hop and R and B. It was like tune in and hear Sean Dell Huntley on Bad Boy Radio. So it was like this was. For the whole, like, I think it was two weeks or something. Like, damn, that's strong. So, I got to go in there, do my thing, and then got a call from Trey the Chocolate Jock. Like, hey, dude, you killed it. I'm getting the board to show at 8 bus. You hired. I'm like, whoa. So, then got to 
You know, which is a huge accomplishment to start off your radio career in mornings. Because normally you got to build right, up right. to grow the Everybody's mornings. Right. So I started off in mornings. And then became a... Uh, start off doing traffic sports, comedian, skits and things of that sort. And then became a program director of Power 92 with like the entire Chicago division up on the Bam and Jay Allen. Uh, shout out Shot Blizz. We had the Chicago Power Hour. He was the host of it. But I was the dude who decided on what got played. So he was supporting so many people, um, and it was just it was just a blessing, and uh, yeah. And then before you know it, of course, doing a morning show, did budget cuts and layoffs, and then of course we bought Raw Radio. We had the TV show on Fox Thirty Two, Raw TV, oh, Countdown man. on WCIU. So just now, just to the point where I believe in myself, invest in myself, um, taking a risk on me. And empowering me, and then just trying to be a blessing as many people as I can. You know, that's just the whole ultimate goal is to just be the blessing. You know what I'm saying? That's, that's why. I, and for the streets to call you the mayor of Chicago radio, I never imagined, like, man, so hey, God is good. Man. That's I love what I do. I, I love it. That's I never thought I'd be doing radio. So, those that don't know, he was an artist at first. Yeah. He was an artist. Yeah. yeah. I was an artist. Um, he's still an artist. He's actually. still an artist. Yeah. He's still an artist. We have to be, a lot of people don't even know that. Like a lot of people don't even know that you mm -hmm. actually, you know, got the little bars behind you. They I don't mean, even know. You know, he used to be on the party line rapping and stuff. <laughs> I don't know. Where's the party line? I, I, got, I got your last project in here somewhere. I got your last project. Yeah, yeah. We supported yeah, last project. You guys just dropped the mixtape. Uh, shout out Bob Devil. We supported it. Um, the single I had out with Twisted, The Rez, The Shine. London on the track, Young Dre, King Fast, then the other joint with John Blue, Twist the Car, for Crucial Conflict. Man, what's the other joint? That's my song. Yeah, I got some joints. Mm -hmm. I got some joints. I got a joint called Wow With It. Everybody get wild with it. I got Wow Style from Crucial Conflict, News from Psycho Drama, my cousin C on there, a GLC on the hook. Uh, <laughs> Toxic did the beat. And uh, this group called BXC, it was Ludacris Group back in the day. That joint go crazy too. You, you named a lot of legends um, <laughs> on your album that you work with. Mm -hmm. I'm going to tap into how you feel about the new artists. Do you see yourself working with the newer generation? I mean, I think anything is possible. You know what I'm saying? If Master P was around. So, <laughs> I mean, anything is possible. Shut like, that Master dude <laughs> did it. You know what I'm saying? I'd be looking at him like, damn, Master P did it. So, anything is possible. And the way hip-hop is, it's all over the place. And so you... It may be something you're like, ah, that's that shit garbage, and it just, and it may blow. But what you know what, what makes you stick to the mm -hmm. legends versus? Um, <clears throat> that's kind of where. You I mean, it? yeah, I kind of rocked more so had those relationships. Um, more so the newer generation, like shout out to Focus to Connect, because people like him is who kind of put me in tune with the newer generation. To be honest with you, you know, I shout didn't really Focus. know like. Chief Keef or King, uh, Lil, I knew King Louie all my life, but like Lil Dirt, I'd never heard of these people until he, because he was working for me, he'd be like, hey boss, you should check this artist out and play his song, or King Samson, like different artists, I'd never heard of these people, because I'm somewhere thinking of how to book Eminem at Soldier Field, like, right. you know, my mind, my thinking process is somewhere totally different, and with young, young, young guys like, like Focus to Connect, work for him and be like, yo, this this kid ain't Lil Dirt. We brought him in, did the interview, play L's up for them hitters. And um yeah, but a lot of these, you know, I gotta salute folks to connect who educated me on a lot of these new school artists. Salute the folks. He's one of my favorite people. Oh uh, yeah. Shout out Lacey West too, QSA Records. Lacey West one of the realest cats out here too, uh 290 West. Love that dude. Okay. Well I I wanna go so deep with this one, but I'm gonna have to bring you back. Okay. I'm gonna have to bring you back because I gotta get a little bit deeper, y'all. I gotta dig some more. Chicago artists, I got. I just have to say it. Y'all listen to Raw. Well, should I say? I ain't gonna say Shundell from Raw Radio. Yeah. Yeah, you girl, Maria the right. Yeah. Well, we do radio the right way. Yeah. Radio. Yeah. Shundell. Yeah. I have a 
young artists on the panel with us. Okay. This is YT. What up? Yo, yo, what's up? How you feel? Bless, bless, bless man. And Good I was just see. speaking with you about the young artists. Yeah. Because I, you do a lot. Do you see yourself in the future doing a big event wow. like you do mm -hmm. with the legends with just young artists? I've done it before. Oh. I've done concerts. I actually did a, it was called a turn up bash. I had Chief, I'm not Chief, I had Kane Louie. I mean, I had like everybody that was on the radio. Tink, Dreezy, I broke their music as well. But I had Tink, Dreezy, Kane Louie, LEP, Chella H. It was like a whole turn up bash. It was mm -hmm. like a lot of the. Artist that's. I want to see it again. Yeah, I did that. I but I was trying to do it another way. It did. Yeah, I heard it was a lot of turmoil, so I just started doing comedy shows. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so I was like, whoa. Okay, so, yeah. well, you young artists get it together, so you know. Yeah, I was going to do a second one, and um, it was just so much turmoil with the violence and that, which is like the venue's like, oh no, it's going to be a bloodbath. I'm like, damn, for real. So it was just things I didn't. That's what I'm saying. Like, I didn't know. I wasn't aware of because I'm like damn near 40 so mm -hmm. my birthday just passed so okay. um thank you and <laughs> so I put, that's what made me start doing like different events I was doing like Chicago events and they're like no this is, hey it's gonna be this uh and I was like damn I can't do this artist and this artist. I don't even want to say their names because right. it was just it was crazy we get it Especially and, probably around that time. It, it, and then I had already booked the venue. I was excited and I had to turn around and do, do a comedy show and start doing comedy shows. Oh, okay. Well, you younger artists, get, get your stuff together so he can definitely put platforms back together for us. You Man. know what I mean? Because I would love to get out there and perform the right We still be doing the um, Show Love Unity Showcases, though. So that'd be dope. Oh, okay. We're already on Power 92. What else show you got coming Unity up? Showcases. Um... We got the stage play bus up right now. Set it off stage play. That's uh, March 6th and the 7th, Derby Crown Theater. Um, of course, the movie I was telling you coming, I put on for my city. I got a sketch comedy movie coming as well. I got to get popping. It's going to be called Shondell and Big Mo Over the Edge. Um, it's just straight, funny, raw comedy skits. Think Dave Chappelle. Not to compare me to him, but just think like real funny comedy skits. Like you ever saw uh, Shark Tank? Uh, ABC, but it, it, it's like, it, man, it's funny, man. And then, uh, of course, the TV show um, that we we in works on right now, uh, Countdown Live, coming back to WCIU. So, yeah, which artists will be able to shine? That's what's up. Salute again to the mayor. You did. The man that put on for the city the right way, yeah. Shondell. I want to speak to my... He's one of my favorite artists. I love him. I love to see him perform. Mm -hmm. A lot of people don't know him. And I'm 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 gonna put some light to you. Again, let the people know who we're talking to right now. Man, right now y'all rocking with the best two-way artists in Chicago. <laughs> the best two-way artists. YT. YT. That's what's up, YT. So I wanna know how long have you been doing your thing on the music side? Um to be honest, I started recording music, i say about six, seven years ago, but I've been writing music for about 13 years. That's how I feel like, Yep. Why you say you're the best? Um, I feel, that's how I feel. Two-way. Two-way artist because I rap and I sing. I use, I really do more, but right there, that's what I'm focused on right now. And I feel like, to be honest, I feel like I'm on top every time I hear my music. I feel like I can always improve on something. Mm -hmm. And I'm always working. If I'm not writing music, I'm studying something. And I feel like my work ethic is, is dull. I, um, I still need improvement. But right now, I'm just feeling like ain't nobody fucking with me right now. You know what? Ain't nothing wrong with being cocky in, it, in your aspect. Because you also say you have room for improvement. Yeah. Because at first, you was, you was you know, you was getting too cocky. I was always getting it back. <laughs> <laughs> no, but the fact of the matter that you will allow yourself to grow. So... What's your writing process? Usually, how, how does that work with you how, when um, you're getting your songs together? When I'm getting my songs together, to be honest, it takes me about a week to a month to finish a song, one song. Um, the reason being month. is because I want it to be perfect. Um, I study it. I write the music. From the, I write the words first, study it, see if I need time to like change it up, um, let people listen to it before I actually record it. 
and then just improve. You know what? You you just said something that what I'm seeing right now. I, I see. I'm not even gonna call you cocky. I'm gonna say you confident. You confident. You're a confident artist, and the fact that you even spoke and said that. You give yourself a month before you even consider the song is complete. You will never hear a, a cocky artist say that. Oh, it take me a, uh, give me an hour. I'm done. Right. You know what I mean? <laughs> and you, you mm. had. I see the humbleness in you. I think that's one of the things that draw me to you. Um, what's one of your, shall I say, your popping songs or your favorites? No, um, before you even tell me your favorite song, because mm -hmm. I'm gonna speak about your performance ethic and because I see you got some little dance skills going on. You got your little crib going. I'm but no. <laughs> how how does that work with you when you um actually getting out there in the crowd you performing? Uh, I really don't know. I I used to know how to dance, but I just say I got moves to like certain <laughs> words I say. And to be honest, I I got like a mirror in my house in my front room. I just look right there and just study. Like I'm always studying how I act and things like that. And I always be around my friends in a goofy mood. So when they hear, uh do my love performance in front of them, they wouldn't even know what I'm doing and they'll just be turned up to it like, like I got it. <laughs> I know I got it. That's what's, that's up. Dope. That's that's what's dope. up. Now, when you perform, well, shall I say that as far as when you're doing your music with the performance and when you're in the studio doing your um, recording or when you're writing, like, as an artist, what's your, like, what, what give you that, uh, what, what's, your, what's your drug right there between those three? Um, I just love the way music make me feel, you know, and when I do my music, I um I picture my nieces and nephews and like I just want a better life for them. Yeah. So when I write my music I try to make a hit. So like every song I write I'll be like, Man, this might put me on. So so the fact of the matter, yo uh is the writing process. Yeah. You 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 love to write. I love it. Mm, mm, mm. Okay, so what other genres of music should I say that your music oh, present? Oh, oh, oh. Because you did say you do both. I got R&B, rap. I got like some pop stuff that I'm working on. I just recorded a reggae track not too long ago. And performed it and had an um, encore performance for it. Great. Like I'm always working on different genres. And I'm also working with a lot of artists too. That's like have different styles than me. So I could leech on, kind of not leech on, but go on to that crowd too. Nice. What's your overall message with your music? You say my overall message? Um, just have fun in life and just enjoy it. Um, I really want people to just live and live with a purpose. And that's my message to them. It's your boy Sean Dell from Raw Radio on Power 92. Uh, my question is, what do you plan to bring different to the game? Um, what I plan on bringing different, mm -hmm. mm, I actually want to do things like with my music. Like I, to be honest, if I had a chance to do music for free, I would really do it. Mm -hmm. And the money that I'm that I'm gonna get with my music is mm -hmm. gonna be all going through the communities. I just want to help out the world and help out my communities. Um, and also, if you if you could work with anybody, um, you know anybody, who would it be? Who would you go out with? If you had one wish, like Ray J. Who would it be? <laughs> right now. It sounds crazy, y'all, but like, I say somebody like Justin Bieber, Taylor Swift, those are the people that's getting millions, billions of views right now. Mm -hmm. So that'd be, smart, man. that'd be your artist. He's smart. That's what's up. This, you, I actually have two people on this table. with me here, And um, they have a thing, they have a thing that I see in them, which is in me. They want to be a blessing. And they want to help. That's what's up. I never knew that I was going to be sitting next to two people that was like me. You know, like, I'm going to salute you. I want to talk about your song, Top Down. What brought you to that? Um, to be honest, I was freestyling when I made the, when I made the hook. And that's how I um, usually get all the flows on my song. I freestyle, and I'm always in a goofy mood. But what drew me to that song was the beat. I like it to be, and I felt like it was something I never gave, like, never heard before. So I'm like, I'm going to give my crowd and my fans, like, a, a different type of energy. And that's what I did on that song. I will say you have a distinctive style. Um, when your record is playing with the Telja, is, that's YT. Um, YT, you a new artist out here grinding in this music thing. And a lot of new artists don't have the business side together. 
Have you took care of yours? Yeah, I took care of mine, and I'm still learning. I actually want to go back to school in the next couple of years um, and learn the business of music and just study more. I feel like it's always room for improvement. Yeah, because it's, it's so much when it comes to the business. And I'm, again, you spoke again, you're still learning. Great you're answer. not extra cocky with it. And that's what's up. Because even with me, you know, um, it's a lot of things that we, we learning as artists to get the business part out. So we don't get that. You know what I mean? Because a lot of artists uh, be so thirsty to sign to a label and then we broke. You know? They didn't put all that hard work in, the hard effort in, and just didn't don't have nothing to show for it. Would you want to be an artist that signs to a label or you would like to be independent? Um, I'd love to be independent. Um, I don't feel like there's nothing wrong with being signed to a label because a label help build your portfolio up. But to me, I want to be independent. Somebody like J. Cole or something so I can have my own label and put my own people on. Hmm. That's what I want to do. That's what's up. That's what's up. Shandia, because the reason why I asked that because mm -hmm. you, as a, as you have your own radio show, you came in like a business partner. Mm -hmm. Like, no, I don't want no show on your thing. Let me have my own show. Let me just pay for this. Let me, let me pay for some time. Mm -hmm. So what, what made you do that? Well, shout out Shorty Capone. It was his idea. You know, my partner Shorty Capone, he the one who was like, I, I, I called him like, bro, they just, you know, they, man, they just let me go. He was like, man, we just bow show. I'm like, what? He's like, man, just call up the, man, we for the bow show, Joe. And I swear to God, man, we, 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 we called up there, found out everything, what it cost and Shit a bag. We could have bought a subway, but shit. You know what I'm saying? Or Chipotle. Um, shit, we probably at McDonald's. <laughs> but, um, you know, we end up doing this. You know what I'm saying? And it, it made sense, though, because we, we figured out everything and the mechanics behind the scene on how media marketing work and learn the game. And, and, and I ain't look back, and that was over 15 years ago. So shout out Shorty Capone because it was it was his idea. Let's do raw radio. That was all his idea. Shout out it to Shorty my Capone. Idea. Man, we're gonna um, take a quick break. I want you yeah. to go ahead and introduce this song. Introduce it. Um... Pop out. All right, pop out. All right, that's one of my newest songs I just created. Um, yeah. It's gonna be dropped on my 1951 mixtape, and okay. it's called Pop Out. And I hope y'all like it. Slam, yeah. 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 It's your boy YT, that's the younger talent to himself, shout out to Pop Radio, shout out to Miranda right the right way, you feel me? And it's a blessing being here with y'all, and follow me on Instagram at NYT, we trust y'all have a go, so much love. Yo, what's good out there, what is your boy Shondell, Mayor of Chicago Radio, Sunday night, 7 p.m. to 10 p.m. on Power 92, I'm rocking right now with Miranda right. Right way radio, you dig what I'm saying? Right here, man, on Pop Radio number one. Yeah. Respect, everybody yeah. salute, and everybody support. Drop man. mine, drop mine. Top down. Top down. I got what you need, come and shop now. I got all the fiends on the king of the spot now. King of the keys, I need rings for the block now. Woo. Whip it up, get it out the pot now. Open up, come and get it while it's hot now. Yeah, we're doing it the right way. Right radio, baby. Right way radio, baby. Yeah. Thank oh, rock, is, which one are you pushing? Um, I'm pushing top down right now because I got up. it out. The video is on YouTube, YT Top Down, if y'all want to look it up. Um, I just really want people to just notice me for all the creativities and the flows that I bring in my music. That will, that's yeah, you? Yeah, that's me. Uh, yeah, I got a little harmonizing, a little sounds up in there. It's, it's a lot. It's, of it's a lot of little things that you say that people know that's that's you. Mm -hmm. That's that's what's up. Like I, when when you're on that show, man, I gotta come and see you live. Um, like I actually, I throw show, I throw shows every Tuesday with my team. We call Tribe Wealthy Soul. Um, on 22nd in Houston, 2201 South Houston. Um, tickets be like five dollars, and we throw open mics every Tuesday. Okay, look at him, the little young entrepreneur doing his mm -hmm. thing, and you know what I'm saying for the other artists too. That's yeah, we actually called. invested in that building, and um, we made a platform for other artists to perform live and practice. So with our shows, we don't do music with the lyrics. It got to be without the lyrics. Oh. So they can practice live. That's what's up. I like this young fella. How you like them songs, Shondell? I love them. They sound great. Like, hey, I mean, he ready already, huh? 
Yeah, that shit was strong. You know what? Appreciate it. You 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 actually doing a lot. And we, we spoke earlier about the drugs and um, things of that nature that a lot of artists is going to. Um, how do you? What's your intake on that? Um, when it's me? Well, I don't think drugs is a way. Um, is a gateway to getting out of your situations because the situation still go beat up. I feel like it's best to um, actually open up to somebody trustworthy and talk to them about your problems um, and find little things to try to distract you like get a job, have fun with your life, like go do something. You know, help somebody else out that's um, in a worse position than you, it'll probably make you feel better. That's my good advice. That's what's up. That's what's up. This young fella has a bright Right, man. It's a, it's a lot. I rock with this, but this is what I want to say to you. As far as the Chicago in itself, how do you feel like it? The Chicago is taking in as the industry as a whole. How's it working with you? How do you look um, at that? To be honest, I love Chicago music, but I don't um try to make my music just for Chicago. Like on my Facebook, my Facebook only out of five thousand friends because it's maxed out. Probably about 500 to 1,000 of them are actually from Chicago. I get a lot of support outside of Chicago. Um, I feel like it's good to be known in your city, but I want to be kind of like known worldwide. So I don't really try to, um, I do my shows out in Chicago and stuff like that, but that's not like my main focus. That's what's up. And when you feel like your back is up against the wall, what do you do? Um, I write. Sometimes I cry. Um, I always write my problems out though and try to talk to somebody. Okay. Well, I'm um gonna play the record because I can. Thank <laughs> <laughs> you. Well, I appreciate what it. I'm What could they find? So you gotta get it clean and uh, we're good to go and uh, I'll play it. Because I never heard. Said so. You know. You see that blessing just just happened right yeah. now? Nice. Do you love. see what just happened? Yeah, Did y'all just love. witness? <laughs> I mean, the record. Big bro, say ain't got you. Big bro, say ain't got you. I love it. You know what? That's crazy. I love it. I love it. Last week, we had a blessing. You know, um, shout out to Taco. His song was selected and it had got selected for him. Ah! Yeah. Um, DJ Sluggo also broke his song. And, and, okay. and he, he played his, he's going to have his song on his so show. And now look at you. Yeah, you crazy. say here I'm next. To, that's my whole purpose that, right now. Like, man, coming up next is a new track from YT or something like that. I'm like, that's going to be me one day. Oh, and I look that's at it. That's happening. I appreciate it. I want to get everything to welcome. And it's it. done. And I'm going to do it because I can. Ooh, and I, I said love so. So that's done. Joint crazy, though. That's what's up. That's what's up. Man, where would we um, be able to find you at? So get anybody that want to look into you and find you, follow you, watch your movement. Hey, make sure y'all get on me because he is team the right way. So, yeah. Team the right way. I'll drop the girls on my stuff. Oh, thank you. <laughs> hey, that's crazy. On um, my Instagram, yeah, they're like is, Ray Allen Jr. This yeah. month, I got my Instagram kind of catchy. NYT we trust, like in God we trust. Yeah, NYT okay. we trust. Um, my Facebook is Terry YT Miller, and I do have a mixtape on YouTube called YT versus KD Two. Mm. You feel me? So y'all go check that out, and it's a lot of singing tracks on there, and also a lot of rap songs on there. Let's also, go. Let's go. that's what. And let me talk. I'm always, you know, get the light on the head. Let me, let me, let me bring back to me real quick. I got a lot of stuff going on. Uh, shout out to Pop, Pop man, and shout out to him. He like a brother. Sometimes he get on my nerves. But I love no, him. That's what brothers <laughs> shout out, that's what brothers shout out do. to him. Shout out to Pop Radio Worldwide, Spotify Premium, iHeart Radio. This is where we do radio the right way. Me, myself, I have a lot going on. I have a single that's about to drop world premiere on Power 92 yes. next Sunday. Nice. Make sure y'all tune in. Make sure y'all tune in. Let's do both of y'all Sunday. Ooh, look at that. <laughs> that's look that's at a blessing. That. That's the right way. That's our Mark Alonzo. Real premiere Money Make Me will be dropping. Yeah. Um, yes. I, 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 I worked hard on this one. 
Um, I'm excited, over, over excited for this. Um, this is this is where I'm going, y'all. So y'all gonna have to go with me, you know. Yeah. Um, other than that, shout out to Mona Sky. I am currently shooting a reality show called Hustling Divas of Chicago. Nice. I am working on that. Um, of course, my hairline. If anybody that wants to become and start their own business, let me be your vendor. Let me help you. you let me help you. How you extensions is a Available. Mm -hmm. um, I'm able. We have all type of hair from um, grade eight to ten. Indian hair, that everything. We have everything. Um, all you artists, brand, uh, anybody that's looking for a brand ambassador, fashion shows, things of that nature. Make sure y'all get at me because Entice Models is available. Um, also, I RTS Models is available also, so y'all can reach me with that. You can follow these people. You can follow me, yeah. Miranda Wright, at gmail.com. It's the info to contact me with inquiries. Um, Entice Entertainment is E-N-T-Y-C-E-E-N-T. -E -E you can check out the models there. You can check out models at www.rtstalent.com. Um, high end extensions again. Make sure y'all again stay tuned in for next Sunday yeah. for my world premiere. Shout out yeah. to Rob Jones, my producer. <laughs> Shout out to you. You've been with me forever. Um, we will be live. Real premiere, Money Make Me on Power 92. Raw Radio, Radio, Radio Sunday, Sunday or Salute. To yeah. yeah. Come on, do his shit as well, man. Look, why not? Let's do it. Why not, man? And this is where we do Radio the Right Way. Make sure y'all stay Shot tuned in. Stay tuned in um, next week. We yeah. will be back here. I will be leading out with the artist, Yo Son, Tali, Trap Girl. And we out. Trap girl